Game Show specially brought to you by TV Pendidikan. As usual, Go Grammar Go will see two teams competing for the highest points in four grammar games. So, let's give a warm welcome to the two competing teams. From Sekolah Mendengar Kebangsaan Kepung Baru Kuala Lumpur, we have the yellow team. And the team that is going to try and outdo them is the green team from Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan Menjalara, Kepung, Kuala Lumpur. SMK Kepung Baru is represented by Muhammad Bazli, Nicholas Lau and Annalisa Frank. Welcome. And the members of the green team from SMK Menjalara are Muhammad Shamil. Nimbus Warren and Louis Lin. Hello. And to all our faithful viewers, welcome to Go Radio. So, teams, are you ready? Yes. yes. Okay, everyone. Let's start Go Grammar Go with the first game called Words in Action. Okay, we are talking about action words. We also call them verbs. Verbs tell us what people, animals, or things do. Uh, verbs can show actions in the past, present, or future. Now, the yellow team will go first, and Muhammad Basli, you're the first player. When you hear the buzzer, you'll have 60 seconds to read, decide, and uh, decide on the best answer for each sentence, and drag five answers from the box to complete the sentences. Each correct answer earns you five points. Any wrong or unfilled blank gets you no points. Okay, so are you ready? Yeah. Okay, come, come on, on over here. Okay. Okay, we will start at the sound of the buzzer. 60 seconds from now. Are you sure with your answer? Okay. Okay, let's okay. check your answer. Okay. And let's see how you scored on the screen behind us. Thank you, Basli. Well, it's time now for the green team to try and outdo the yellow team. Okay, Shamin, can we have you over here? Yes. Okay, you're, do you still remember about the rules? Yes, I can. Okay. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay. We will start at the sound okay. of the buzzer. Okay. 60 seconds from now. Answer? Yes, I am. Do you want okay. to change anything? No. Okay. Okay. Let's look so, at your answers. Let's look at your answer. So you've got 25 points for the green team. Okay. Now go back. Well, that was the end of round one and the score at the moment is 
20 points for the yellow team from SMK Kupumbaru. Well done. And 25 points for the green team from SMK Manjalara. Congratulations. Congratulations. So contestants, are you all ready for the next game? Yes. Go, Grandma, go. All right. For the next game, come on over here. Contestant number two from the green team, Lingish Warren. Okay, everyone, this is Lingish. Okay. Our next game is called Names, Names, Names. We're talking about nouns. Nouns are the names of people, animals, things or places. Herman will read you a list of 10 questions. And in 60 seconds, you have to try and answer all of them. If you don't know the answer, you say next and he will move on to the ne next question. So the faster you answer each one of them, the more chances you have of answering all of them. Each correct answer gets you five points. The questions will not be repeated. So ready? Yes, I okay, the buzzer will mark the start and the end of the game. Okay, 60 seconds from now. A frog is an amphibian. What do we call a crab? Next. We call a group of sailors a crew. What do we call a group of singers? Band. Okay, number three. What do we call the sound made by a beetle? Next. She is as cunning as a fox and he is as curious as a... Next. Okay. Number five. Scotland is associated with bagpipes. Which country do we associate with boomerangs? Next. What is another name for a hot or cold drink? Next. No idea. Your mother's brother's wife's son is your? Nephew. Okay. Number eight. Where would we go if you want to see animals performing skillful tricks as entertainment? Circus. Okay. Number nine. The top of a house is called the roof. <coughs> oh, oh, time's up. Okay. Uh, Lingish. Number one, the answer should have been crustacean. Number two, you said band, but a group of singers, we call them choir. Number three, sound made by a beetle, drone. Number four, as curious as a cat. Number five, boomerangs is associated with Australia. Number six, beverage. Number seven, not your nephew, he's your cousin. Okay, number eight, correct, is it circus? Uh, we didn't have the time for number nine, and I know. Um, so you've got one correct, five points for the green team. Very good, Lingish, okay. thank you very much. Okay, um, it's back to the yellow team now, and it's Nicholas Lauston to try and outdo Lingish. Hi, Nicholas. Hello. So you are ready for this game? Yes, I am. Okay, okay, I know we read to you Ten the questions. questions as soon as we hear the sound of the buzzer. <laughs> an animal that eats plants is called a herbivore. What do you call an animal that eats flesh? Carnivore. The telephone was invented by Alexander Graham Bell. What did John Barrett invent? The television. What do we call the sound made by a mouse? Squeak. He's as, as stubborn as a donkey and she's as silly as a? Next. Egypt is associated with mummies. Which country do we associate kilts with? Scotland. Your uncle's wife's son's sister is your? Cousin. The home of a spider is called a web. What do we call the home of an eagle? Ness. What do you call a person from Denmark? Dane. A baby fly is called a maggot. What do we call a baby cockroach? Nim. Yeah. What do we call a person who studies plants and trees? Next. Okay. Oh, that's a 60 seconds up. Let's see how you fed in this round. Uh, you've got the first one correct, mm -hmm. the second correct, third one correct, and number four, uh, as silly as a goose. Number five, Scotland correct, six correct, number seven, Erie, the home of an eagle. Okay, now number 8 correct, 9 correct, number 10, person who studies plants and trees, we call them botanists. Okay, you've got 7 correct, which means you have 35 points. Well done, you go back now. So the total score 
for the yellow, yellow team. team now is 55 points. Congratulations. Congratulations. And the green team has 30 points. Okay, well done. Well done. Before we go on to the third game, let's look at the prizes for the winner and the runner-up. The prizes for this program are a dictionary, reference books and readers sponsored by Pearson Education Malaysia Sundaran Berhad, your partner in education and hampers to brighten up your day sponsored by Smarties. The runner-up will also receive books from Pearson Education Malaysia Sundaran Berhad and a hamper from Smarties. Two games down and two more to go and it's all on... Go! Just to remind you that you're watching Go Grammar Go, specially brought to you by TV Pendidikan. Okay, and now to continue the challenge. Alright, teams, the third game is simply called Words That Describe. Anna and Louis, it's your turn and this is what game three is all about. Each of you will have to look at each of the four visuals on the screen behind you and unscramble the given letters to form an adjective or adverb to describe the given picture. You have to spell out the word correctly and say it clearly. You're given 15 seconds to solve each word. Uh, remember, the words given to you are either adjectives or adverbs. Okay, five points will be given to you for every correct answer. Okay, we'll start with Anna from the yellow team. Come on over here, Anna. Hi. So I think this is going to be quite tough. Are you ready? 60 seconds from now. Majestic. M-A-J-E-S-T-I-C. Majestic. Proudly. P R O U D L Y proudly. Purple. P U R P L E purple. How you scored the first one correct majestic number two correct the three also correct and the last one should have been excited me okay so you've got three correct 15 points for you you may go back now well done okay uh, and now that was Annalisa. Okay. And now let's see what the challenger from the green team can do. It's Louis' turn. Come on over here. Are you ready? Yes. Do you still remember the rules? Okay, we'll begin at the sound of the buzzer. 60 seconds from now. Cute, C U T E. Frightening, F R I G H T I N G. Sweetly, S W E E T L Y. And the last visual? Confidently, C O N D E F I T L Y. Oh, that's your oh. 60 seconds up. You've got. <laughs> Number one, correct, cute. Number two, you've got the spelling wrongly. It should be F R I G H T E N I N G. Number three, you got it correct. Number four, confidently. So, two correct, and you've got 10 points for your team. Well Thank you very much, Louis. Okay, the total points for. Yellow team is 70 points. Well done. And the green team has got 40 points. 
Now, as you already know, there are some fantastic prizes to be won, and so far, the yellow team is in the lead. Uh huh. Congratulations. This is going to be teamwork to solve a crossword puzzle. Okay, this is how it is played. Each team will draw a numbered ball from this bowl. The number will correspond to a number in the crossword on the screen that you see behind you. When the number is clicked on the puzzle, it will reveal the clue for that question. You then discuss it with your team members. Decide on the answer and drag the letters from the box on the left of the puzzle to fill in the gaps. Every correct answer keyed in earns you 5 points. If your answer is wrong, your opponents get 20 seconds to complete it and steal your 5 points. Okay, now are you clear on the rules? Yes. yes. Okay, let's start now. Alright, the yellow team won the draw before the show, so they will go first. Okay. okay. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Are you sure? Okay. Sure. Yellow team. Then look. Okay. This number nine. Okay. Number nine. Okay. Sixty seconds from now. Ask for information. So we. The green team has 20 seconds from now. 20 seconds from now. Hurry up. So should have been inquire. Inquire. So we'll continue with the green team now. I know. Stir and pick I'll do one ball. Okay. One of them. Okay. Let's see. Number one. Okay. Number one. Let's. Sixty look. seconds from now. Make attractive. Ah, oh, the time Time's is up, up Lingesh. Okay, okay, let's check. Is that the correct answer? Let's check now. Ah. That's not correct. <laughs> it's not 20 correct. seconds from the yellow team. Okay. 
Time's up. Use the chance, Anna. Okay, okay, let's look at the correct answer. Decorate for number one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we got now that we... as well. So. Uh -huh. So we continue team. with the yellow team. And you have got number five. Number five. Okay. Okay, 60 seconds from now. No. No. Okay, now let's check. Oh, it's correct. And the green team. Uh, the green team. Stir the look. <laughs> okay, number six. Number six. Okay. Let's look at the clue of number six. Sixty seconds from now. Okay, let's, let's check. check. Oh, you got it correct. Yeah. Very good. Yellow team stern. Okay. You got the third step. Anna? Okay. And we have here yeah, ball number seven. Okay. Okay. 60 seconds from now. Label. Label. Okay, number two. Let's look at this. Okay. Uh, the clue. 60 seconds from now. Place where boats can load and unload goods. Okay, let's check. Let's check, Lingus. It is correct. Very good. Maybe Mazli will like to try. Don't look. It's there. And we have with us ball number three. Number three, 60 seconds from now. The young of the goat. Answer, Anna. It is correct. correct. For the green team. Okay, number four D. Four down. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's look at the clue. Sixty seconds from now. Small round.
the last ball for the yellow team. Okay, come on, Nicholas. Okay. Ball number eight. Number eight, 60 seconds from now. Wait. Seconds from now. Around the roof of a building. Okay. Bring this. Okay. It is correct. Well done. Well done. Well, that's the puzzle completed. Let's check the score for this round. Okay, the yellow team from SMK Kepung Baru scored 20 points and that brings their total score to 90 points. Congratulations! Well and the green team from SMK Manjalara scored 20 points as well, bringing their total to 60 points. Okay, well done. And from the final tally, we have a winner, I know. Congratulations, Congratulations, Yellow Team! <laughs> and to the runner-up, the Green Team, congratulations to you too. Okay, okay, well done. So, that brings us to the end of the sixth series of Go Grammar Go! We would like to thank our sponsors, Pearson Education, Malaysia, Syndrome Berhad and Smarties. So, bye-bye for now. Brush up on your grammar and don't forget to tune in to... Go Grammar Go!